the very first step of tRNA charging is the one where amino acid is transferred to AMP. So basically ATP and amino acid is in place and there is a formation of bond known as the adenylation of the amino acid to the tRNA. So first is the adenylation, amino acid is adenylated and then the adenylated form of amino acid transfers itself to the CC, ACC arm, 3 prime hydroxyl ACC arm of the tRNA. So this is another interaction and that that's how the tRNA is charged. We call this state of the tRNA as a charged tRNA. Very important. Two step process and this bond between ACC and amino acid is high energy COO bond. And AMP gets cleaved out, released as a result of this process. And you can see how the sugar, the ribose sugar is connected uh, to this structure COO that is the OH of the 3 prime. So hydroxyl of the 3 prime, it's connected. So this process of charging is very important and amino acid tRNA synthetase is the enzyme catalyzing this particular reaction. Once the charging is done, you understand about charging, then we'll move on to the steps of the protein synthesis in prokaryotes that involves initiation, elongation and termination. So we'll start our discussion with initiation. To understand, we have large subunit and small subunit and we have E site, P site and A site engraded to it. E means exit, P means peptidyl and A means amino acyl tRNA attachment site. Three sites have its own role, but the subunits are not always assembled during the process start point of the protein synthesis. A binds to the charged tRNA, P binds to peptidyl tRNA and E binds to the tRNA that had discharged the growing polypeptide. So this is the small subunit, it has P and A site. And we have this particular ribosome binding sequence in the 16S rRNA of the small subunit that interacts to the complementary region upstream of the start codon in mRNA. And then that denotes that the first tRNA with formylated methionine will bind itself to the anticodon AUG. So in response to the anticodon AUG, no matter what situation it is, it is the formylated form of methionine carried tRNA will bring it. And this initiation starts where we have mRNA attached to small ribosomal subunit and tRNA with FMET in the P site. Next is the assembly of large ribosomal subunit which is really really important. But before going in there, let's talk about the process of initiation and how exactly it is done because there will be involvement of initiation factors IF3. Initiation factor 3 associates itself to the small ribosomal subunit, particularly to the E site of the small ribosomal subunit. So when IF3 binds itself to the E site, it blocks the E site. So no further tRNA can interact to the E site of the ribosome. Here comes the large subunit and this IF3 prevents the large subunit from associating to the small subunit. That's why IF3 is really important. Keeps small and large subunits separated. Here comes IF1 or initiation factor 1 attaches to the small subunit in the area of the A site. Okay, And this is IF2, initiation factor 2 which is a GTPS. It interacts to the IF1. So IF1 and IF2 brings itself. IF1 sits in A site. So only P site is free where a tRNA can bind at the first time. And this is the first tRNA, formylated methionine carrying tRNA. And this is not generally called as an adenylated form. So this tRNA brings itself, attach itself to the P site. So this is the very first step. Then this whole small subunit along with all this initiation factor binds itself to the mRNA. Once the attachment is done, then IF3 releases. Once IF3 releases, now the large subunit can interact to the small subunit because IF3 is cleaved, IF3 is already released. So now large and small subunit associate together forming the complete translation initiation complex IF2 hydrolyzed GTP into GDP and IF2 and 1 both are released from A site. So now E site and A site both are free and formylated tRNA carrying amino acid uh, tRNA is present in the P site. So now we'll begin the process of protein synthesis, elongation of protein synthesis and for that we need charged tRNA depending upon the codon that is present in A site, we will have the tRNA bringing the specific amino acid. Specifically charged amino acids will bring 
the amino acid the amino acyl trna with the next amino acid will bring itself and bind to the a site and then they will initiate the process of formation of first peptide bond and this is nothing but the nucleophilic attack so the lone pair of electron in nh2 attacks the carbon here you can see the cch2 ch that is the interaction carbon you can clearly see in this particular animation and as a result of which the formylated form of methionine is transferred from the trna of the p site to the trna of the a site and this is how the peptide bond formed and this is catalyzed by the large ribosomal subunit so it's a ribozyme activity that we can easily observe here 